Brad, thank you. Breaking news right now at 11, CMPD releasing new procedures for their civil emergency unit. This comes after this incident you see on your screen. Protesters say police cornered them with tear gas during a demonstration back on June 2nd. Those new changes are for officers' use of riot control agents and other dispersal methods. The amendments come just one day after City Council passed a new resolution to compare the department's policies with the eight can't wait campaign guidelines to decrease police brutality. But now some wonder, does the department have the full support of the city of Charlotte and its leaders? CMPD Police Chief Kerr Putney spoke about their tactics earlier. Our Brianna Harper is live tonight with more on what he said. Brianna. Well, Fred, Chief Putney says out of 12 days of protest, they've only had one significant incident. And of course, that was last Tuesday night. But now he says they're looking forward to improving and making sure that doesn't happen again. CMPD now taking a closer look at a civil emergency unit's standard procedure and the proper protocol to follow. Chief Kerr Putney says he takes full responsibility for the unfortunate events during last Tuesday's protest. We're trapped. There's tear gas. I am the only one who can authorize local munitions. I get the blanket approval for that use. But admits some changes are needed. That includes more clear communication between the on-ground command and protesters. The intent is not to punish or abuse. The intent is to gain cooperation and have people leave an area that has become rioted. Moving forward, the police department won't be allowed to buy new chemical agents for next year based on the city council's vote to ban that. But we're told there's still a chance what's left of the dispersal tool might be necessary in large scale situations like the RNC. In addition to keeping the public safe, the chief says officer safety is also so priority. We're going to take every precaution we can to keep all of our CMPD family safe, just like we do for every other family in our jurisdiction. The department is now in the midst of multiple ongoing reviews by the SBI, Office of Domestic Preparedness, as well as an internal investigation. The goal is to make sure the same issue doesn't happen again. I don't want anyone injured. I don't want to deploy chemical munitions, and I don't want a reason to have to do so. And as those investigations continue, the chief says so far none of the officers involved have been reprimanded. Reporting in Uptown, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.